So for season three of Mocktober, we really focused on more budget-friendly Mockto work boots because this is more of what the majority of people who are buying these boots as a piece of equipment that they, they need to do their job that needs to be dependable, reliable, and not just a fashionable boot. So we're going to condense all the most important information from each of these cut in half videos that we did this year into this single video with plenty of the caveats and other aspects that would make this video an hour long left in these individual videos. So if you want to go watch these individual videos <laughs> after this video is done, I'll put links below. If you want to buy any of these boots, I'll put links below as well. And just like you're buying these boots to protect your feet during your work life, NordVPN, the sponsor of this video, helps you protect yourself in the same way, but with your online and internet presence. NordVPN is the fastest VPN on the planet, and it's more than just a VPN. NordVPN's mission is striving to make the internet better than it is today. It can be free from online threats, censorship, and surveillance. With all the online data breaches happening lately, I've been upgrading all my security across the board, and NordVPN's threat protection, which shields you from malware trackers and ads has really helped us tighten up the ship. And the way that scammers do this is they pretend to be someone you trust, whether it's a bank, a friend, popular online service, to make you do something stupid, like enter your banking details on a fake website. So this threat protection feature can help recognize many of the malicious links and warn you about dangerous websites. And they're super privacy oriented, so they don't track what you do online, they just encrypt your traffic. They also offer NordPass, a password manager, and they also have NordLocker, which is an easy encryption cloud service system. So you really need to do something like this in today's online world so use the links in the description to get your exclusive NordVPN deal plus four months extra. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee and thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And so now let's start going through each category. This is gonna be pretty rapid fire just to keep it really brief and just condense it into everything you need to know before buying these boots. <laughs> if we rank these from uh, on price from most expensive to least expensive, the most expensive at $210 made in Vietnam is the Irish wing shooter. The next is the Georgia GB00592, $195 made in China. Next is the Wolverine I90 that retails for $190 that's made in Bangladesh. Then we have the Rock Rooster 8 inch that retails for $120 that's also made in China. And then the cheapest out of the bunch, the Golden Fox at under $100 at $96 also made in China. I'm basing how I'm ranking the majority of these little scales, based on durability and reliability, which leather is best to worst. I would say the Georgia through and through is better. It's two millimeters thick, it's oil treated, so you got that lots of conditioning on the inside. It's gonna be really reliable. It's also treated for corrosion. Next, I would say the Irish wing shooters, 2.2 millimeters thick. It does have a pigment layer on top. So as you wear these, that's gonna maybe flake off a little bit and rub off. So you get a little higher contrast and potentially flaking off. And that's not the reason I put it underneath the Georgia's. I think the Georgia's just with all that oil, it's an oil tanned. It's just a work leather compared to the Irish setters is not as much of a work leather, I guess is what I'm getting at. Then surprisingly, number three, I'd put the Golden Fox because this is the cheapest boot, but it has decent leather. It's 2.2 millimeters thick, has some nice pull up, has tons of conditioning and oils worked into it. I do think it's better than the next two. At number four, I would put the Rock Rooster. And this is still a, a decent leather, but for durability and reliability, because it's so, so stink and tumble and so soft and malleable that you're gonna lose some durability for that comfort. It's that constant scale that's always shifting. Some might value this more than the other leathers because it's so soft and easy to break in, but durability wise, I, I think it sits in number four. And then finally, the number five spot, I'd put the Wolverine I-90. It's two millimeters thick, it's new buck, but it has some like split leather on it and it, it absorbs water even though it's supposed to be waterproof. Um, but the last, the last two or three, you could easily switch around based on what you value uh, most. Then if we look at construction, and if you don't know what construction is, it's how the upper of the boot is attached to the outsole of the boot, and all of them are Goodyear welted. But if I were to base and rank each one based off of that same durability and reliability, I would put the Irish wing setters, wing, have I been calling it a wing setter the whole time? Wing shooter. The Irish setter wing shooter. That's a tough word. Um, I would put that at number one because you've got a true Goodyear welt that's leather and it's going to make it more affordable and cheaper to resole because that leather is more durable than synthetic welt material because over time it can break and crack especially in cold conditions 
So I'd put Irish <laughs> Irish setter at number one. Number two, I would, for the same reasons, I'd put the Rock Roosters, same leather welt, but I, it's, I just don't think it's quite as high quality of leather and it's got that split thing where it side, goes up the sidewall with a fake stitch and that's more of a preference. I think you could swap those pretty easily. Then number three, I would put the Wolverine I-90 and the Georgia boot because they're basically the exact same material. They look exactly the same. They're probably sourced from a similar place. So I'd put those tied at the number three spot. And the number four is the Golden Fox just because it's synthetic and it's just not, it's, it's about as cheap of a welt as you can put on a boot. But it makes sense, it's 95 bucks, but it's still the worst. Then if we go to the outsole, because this is an important component for people that are actually working in these because you want comfort, but you also want durability. You don't want like the really cheap outsole that's gonna wear out in, th in like three months and you're out the total amount of money you put into the boot, especially in the cheaper spectrum of these where you're not gonna get them resold. So which one has the best outsole? I would put Georgia at number one. It surprised me how much I like this outsole because it's almost a, a cup sole for work boot where you've got the really, uh, tough rubber as a bumper that fuses the midsole to the outsole and it just gives you extra protection. It's plenty of squish on the inside hidden by that more rubber cupsole thing. And in a similar fashion, at number two, I would put the Irish setters because similar reasoning, you know, the Irish setters might have a little bit better, softer compound, but I think the Georgia boot has a thicker, more durable outsole skin and it, and it creeps up the sidewall here on the heel where the Irish setter does not. Next, I put the Rock Roosters because it has an actual Vibram outsole and we figured out this is not like a fake version that we were speculating. It's an actual Vibram outsole. It's just your classic blown rubber. It's not gonna be the most durable. It's not gonna be the most grippy, but it is something that sits in between the hardness of a rubber and the durability thereof and the softness and squishiness, squishiness of like a really soft foam, similar to number four, which I would put the Wolverines because this is a TPU and PU outsole and they say it's really really they have all these claims about being so durable but it's it's really not. I can't find a I can't find any way to justify saying these were like three times more durable like they were claiming. But it does balance that hardness of that TPU with the really really soft PU which as soon as you wear through that that TPU you can see you're just into that really soft foam and that's where that balance kind of comes into play with the previous ones we talked about. And then the last spot, no surprise, Golden Fox. It's just a really cheap foam outsole and it will not last very long on the work site. Then another important issue is the lining because it's probably the number one fastest wearing spot, especially for work boots. And it's usually where brands under 200 bucks really cheap out and put just junk on the inside. Looking at it through the same lens of dependability and reliability, durability, that whole thing. But I also, my personal preference is less lining and a strong heel counter. Some people might value things in different ways, depending on their feet and how they work, all that stuff. So for me, the number one lining, I would put Rock Rooster because it's unlined in the quarters. It has this like moisture wicking fabric in the vamp that I'm still not convinced does anything with any of these brands that use that. And then you do have a dedicated heel counter. It's not leather, but it's synthetic. And I would still would take that over a fabric heel counter. Next, I would put the Wolverine I-90s for similar reasons. You got that basically the same kind of heel counter, but you do have a cheaper fabric lining up through the quarters. Then we go to the Georgia fabric lining, but at least you have some extra padding in the heel that locks your heel in to prevent it from slipping to wear out that heel as fast. Then I would put the Irish setters because all it is is a fabric lining on the inside. Nothing special about the um, counter cover. It is a waterproof boot and sometimes Actually, the majority of the time, they don't put one in there, but we've seen it done with, uh, which one was it? The I-90? Yeah, the I-90 is waterproof and they have a dedicated counter. So that's why I put it above Georgia. And then last spot, once again, Golden Fox. <laughs> Fox, just a cheap lining. And then you have the worst crumbly foam behind that lining that just disintegrates before you even put them on. So that, not great. Then to the part that all these brands, every brand in the budget range, range hides all the flaws and just, gets the most price savings where the least people can see it, which is the guts of the boot. Everything between the insole and the outsole of the boot is what I consider the guts. And at number one, I'd put the Irish Setter because it's the only one that all the layers are fully fused together to prevent that independent movement of each layer wearing them out prematurely. Then I would put Georgia and Georgia and Wolverine are almost identical on the inside. They're, they're, I don't, they might be made in the same factory by the same 
like contractor because they're nearly identical. The biggest differentiating factor is the Georgia has an integrated shank that's fiberglass where the Wolverines kind of claim they had a shank, but all it really was was the midsole. It's a little bit harder and so it doesn't really have a shank. Then I put the Rock Rooster because it's got that really cheap Chinese fiberboard that's not as durable, not as dense and the, the cork filling on the inside is pretty spotty. And the shank is riveted into the lasting board. And then once again, last place, a Rock Rooster, cheap Chinese paper board is what really what it looks like. A loose shank that's not tied to anything and really weak glue. So now we know all the most important information of each individual component. Now, how would I rank these best overall, regardless of the price? I would put the Irish Setter Wing Shooter at number one. I think it balances everything best, um, but there's still plenty of holes that could, could improve this boot. Then I would put the Georgia, and that was a really close one. I was almost, I almost swapped the two, but the, the, the leather welt on the Irish Setter put it above, put the Irish Setter above the Georgia for me. But, but the Georgia is also $15 less. Then surprisingly, I would put the Rock Roosters as number three. I think some people might swap the Wolverine with the Rock Roosters, but I like the simplicity of it. I like the leather welt. I like the dependable outsole. It's just the more internal components through the guts could use some improvement. And then at number four, I put the Wolverine I-90 at $190, just because, you know, they're a little bit sketchy on their, their branding. They, they twist the truth a little bit when it comes to how they position their products. But it's, it's not like it's significantly worse than the top three. I think there's a there's a case to be made that it's closer than it might seem by being ranked number four. Then obviously number five worst is the Golden Fox through and through. It's pretty bad. So that's how I'd rank them regardless of price, but which how would I rank this when it came to best value? Basically the most boot based on durability and reliability per dollar spent. And this is like a little bit like gambling and each person will be really swapping these around depending on how much you want to risk the failure of the boot depending on how much you spend. I personally put number one, the best value at the Rock Roosters at 120 bucks. It has a lot of the same features. It's it's around 70 to $80 cheaper than the top other three. It has the bare necessities to be a work boot. Yeah, there's plenty of room for improvement, but it is $120 and for that, reason I put that at number one. But you're also gambling. There's a lot of room for potential failure with the spotty cork and the Chinese style lasting material. But at number two, I think I'd put the Georgia. It's $15 less than the Irish Setters and it's about as good as Irish Setter. And because it's a little bit cheaper, I'd rank it above the Irish Setter, which I put at number three is the Irish Setter. And then number four, I put the Wolverine and number five, once again, poor Golden Fox, number five spot again. And I rank these throughout the series in this order, Irish Setter, Wolverine, Rock Rooster, Georgia, and Golden Fox. And it's, you know, that those those are always shifting and changing throughout the series because we learn new stuff, we run new tests, we have the time to actually compare and get an idea of the market because the first boot we cut apart is gonna not have nearly as much information as the fifth boot we cut apart, which helps inform the entire perspective and series is what I'm getting at. So if I were to re-rank these, just the official tw season three, October 2023 ranking, how I'd rank these. Irish Setter is number one, Georgia as number two, Rock Rooster as number three, Wolverine as four, and Golden Fox once again, number five. And this is far from the whole market of these affordable mock toe boots because even from 200 to $300 and a little bit more, there's some alternatives that we've already cut in half with the Carolinas, the Thoroughgoods, the Whites, Ariots, and Danners that you might wanna check out. If you don't feel like these are quite good enough and there's too many corners cut to get into that price range, check out those. I'll put links to those videos in the description. I'll put links to all these videos in the description. I'll put links to buy all these boots in the description. If you liked any of these, if you're curious about any of them, go check out those videos. It'll help round out the information and give you a lot more specifics about each of these boots. Because this video is more about just informing you on the most basic and most important information if you're in a rush and you don't have like three hours to watch all the videos. So let me know what you thought of this video. I like doing these end of year videos where we kind of bring together all the information and rank them. I think it rounds out the, the series really well. Let me know what information you would like us to add in future videos. Um, what other mock toes in this price range you want us to cut apart or what you think would be better. If there's a boot that we didn't cut, you're like, that would be number one. Let me know. And thank you guys so much for supporting Mocktober. It's my favorite series. I love the end of the year because it's just absolute chaos. The series are really fun. They all kind of wrap up at the same time. So thank you guys for all your support. See ya.